so then. What you guys have been doing since, since the last one. Yeah, you gotta tell them to shh. Playing backgammon with the boss. <laughs> How'd that go? Uh, yeah, I'm thirty dollars up, so it went good. <laughs> and you walked away from thirty dollars up, or are you going to play another game? Oh no, I'm done. I'm taking my money and leaving. Taking your money and leaving. Yeah. All right. Put it on my pillow, get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's basically like we get a redo. The bike's feeling pretty good. It feels like it feels like I've been on it for a long time. And at the other round, at the other round, it kind of felt like I was trying to rush things and just trying to do everything like now instead of just like taking like a breath. I didn't do great. I mean, my finishes were good, but my lap times weren't. I've already gone faster than what I went um, a month ago. So I'm happy. I think tomorrow I'll be able to stick in the front and I think I should be able to get on the podium. So yeah, yesterday um, I made a few mistakes um, in the race, which I shouldn't. So this ra today, uh, this race, I, pr I think I only made one mistake, but it, was, it wasn't anything major. So it just made, I just like, for the first two laps, I was just holding third position. No one came past me. I thought I pulled the gap, but I saw my lap board, I didn't. So I was kind of confused. And then uh, they both came past me and yeah, so they wanted to like race me and rough like just see how rough it can get but I just sat behind them let them do all the work I was watching them pass each other and I just decided like there's no point in me like risking risking it any more than I have to so I just sat there and I just waited there in fifth place until the last lap and I just slipped between them to the line so I'm gonna go out and do two days at Laguna and that's gonna be good because I've never been there before. Uh, I'm going to probably, if I can get a bike, I might go to Atlanta and I'm just gonna ride as much as I can. I might, I'm not too sure yet, but I might get a 450 and there's a go-kart track three hours away. So I'm just gonna ride the go-kart track as much as I can because I need to close the gap to the front guys. Like the podium's good and all, but and there's still a gap that needs to be closed. Yeah, when it's cash <laughs> the video is good. We're right? having a party at Celtic HSBK. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's not sweating anymore. He's not so nervous on the camera and everything. No, no pit stains. <laughs> It was a good day overall, um, making a lot of progress with the bike and with, with the team and me. And We basically went from the last time we were here, I did like a high 19 in the race and then by the end of the race my pace was like mid 20s, 21s. And then today we started low 20s and finished mid to low 20s. So kept the pace more consistent, just a little bit off, off pace. Honestly, doing the same track twice, I don't like it that much. I thought I would come back and be even faster, which I'm sure a lot of people did, but it turns out we come back and the weather conditions are a bit different and I guess I'm, I might be riding a little bit different and it just hasn't clicked yet. So.
so it's a bit of a struggle, but we're getting there. I feel good going into tomorrow. I mean, we, we had a good race today, good race pace, and if we can find just two tenths, three tenths, half a second, and, and carry that throughout the whole race, we're, we're money. Just sit there, keep the pressure on them guys, and see what happens. But we're working a lot with the, with the bike, and I don't know what they're doing right now, but they were just working on it. They all stopped because we're filming. Back at it again, the duck shorts. Yeah, today was a, a really good race for us. We uh, stuck behind Sean there till the end and uh, passed around the outside of the carousel on, on the last lap. And I thought I had some form to the line, but we, uh, I just kind of, either I, I didn't get in the draft in the right time or I, I made a small mistake and I, I wasn't able to pass him to the line. but. It was a good race and we're getting closer to the front and consistently from the last, the, the very first race we did, we were 11 seconds off at the end. Second race was seven and a half. Yesterday we were six seconds. Today we're five seconds from the front. So we're just chipping away at, at uh, the overall goal. So I'm happy with how it's went and, and we're finding a good way with the bike. So. Yeah, going around the outside in the carousel was quite a, uh, quite sketchy. You, you see the guy up on the inside and you're like, oh man, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be close at the end, but we, uh, I don't know, I just open the gas a bit more and hope for the best. So, I'm looking forward to the next race, get away from these uh, horsepower tracks and get, get to something a little bit tighter, more technical. <laughs> this guy, <so> wow. <laughs> I can't. Dude, what are It's really good to come back to the same track uh, again and Road America is a great place. Um, we, we went really well at the first round um, and then yeah unfortunately we got slapped with that 22 pound uh, penalty. Um, but yeah obviously when you put 22 pounds on a bike it's going to change the characteristics of it. Um, so it was a lot different when we came back. Yeah we've been working on, on some stuff to uh, you know because it's it's you know affected my braking and and my exits and a couple of, of spots and stuff. So we've been just working around that and trying to find solutions just to, to get the best out of it that we can. Oh yeah, you know you put somebody like PJ on a motorcycle, it's kind of hard to slow him down no matter what you do. So kid wants to win everything he's in. This is kind of how it how it works. But yeah, I mean obviously kind of like PJ was talking about, we've added a significant amount of weight to the motorcycle. So there's some pretty radical changes we're doing on the chassis um, that affects a lot of things like your chassis pitch, corner entry, corner exit, how the thing rolls around the middle. Basically the big thing we're working on is trying to get the weight bias right on that. Um, one of the big problems he's having with it is on corner entry. We're just having troubles getting the bike to hold a line on the way into the corner. A whole lot of this stuff is what it is. A whole lot of squiggly lines and talking about numbers.
grass. Uh, obviously for us on the crew side, this was an immensely disappointing weekend. We had some sort of an issue where the thing spilled some fuel and the bike basically caught on fire coming down into Canada Corner and we don't know what happened on the motorcycle yet. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, PJ's got some burns and stuff from the incident today, but luckily it's nothing too terribly serious and we fully expect to have him back on the bike next race weekend, so. I mean, I really feel going forward we're still going to be the bike to beat. Uh, we just, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how the rest of the field shakes out, but I'm still very confident we'll be the dominant motorcycle in the field, and I definitely feel like we're still in the hunt for the championship in the Stock 1000 class and in the Superbike Cup. I feel like we're, we're going to be right there. We're obviously going to need a couple weekends to come back from a zero-point event like this for us, but um, we'll, definitely, we'll definitely be back in the hunt. It's just going to take us a little time.